Hey everyone, Mama Seven and Blessed here. So I'm coming to you guys because um, I had made a video. Um, I made a video last night and um, I tried to post it and it automatically just erased. I don't know what happened. I hit for it to post and it just like disappeared. Like it wasn't even in my um, it wasn't even in my gallery. I couldn't find it. That's never happened before. It was really strange, but I just left it alone and I said, well, maybe, you know, God doesn't want me to post it or something like that. So I just left it alone, you know, it was just like, okay, it is what it is. But anyway, um, I know a lot of times, you know, when we're called to speak um, and we're, we're called to bring a word or we're called to share with the body. Um, and when I say the body, the body of Christ, when we're called to share, a lot of times those of us who are God fearing, which means have a rev reverential fear of God, um, a fear because you know how, when I say a reverential fear, it's not to be scared of what God is going to do to you and, and things like that because he's a loving God, but a reverential fear means that because he is all the all powerful, because of whom he is, God and, and all his majesty and all he is, you know, you want to make sure you're doing the right thing. You want to make sure you're not doing a good thing and it's not a God thing. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of like, in a way, almost hesitant, you know what I mean? Because you don't want to lead anybody astray, you know, and things like that. So what happened was, um, I was watching some videos last night as I, as I was doing my hair and, um, a video popped up and it was by a young lady on YouTube her name is Princess of Christ and the name of her video was UFO deception dream from God and so I went on to listen to her video but her video was kind of like a confirmation for me because um, God had, had showed me something. He had showed me a vision. I was not sleeping. I was awake. I had been sitting on my bed one morning and I got a vision and, got, and the Holy Spirit began to speak to me about the vision that he gave me. And it was very loud and was very clear. The Holy Spirit said to me, um, there will be an alien invasion, deception. There will be a deception of an alien invasion. Okay. And that's what the the new world order that is what the government will try to use to explain the disappearance of the people who will be caught up in the rapture so basically the holy spirit just said to me plain i seen it i i actually saw it and got the holy spirit spoke it to me into my spirit so i'm like oh my god like really like for real wow you know what i mean and of course me you know um, the Bible says, my spirit, my sheep know my voice and the voice of a stranger they will not follow. I knew it was God because I know my father's voice. Um, when he chastises me, when he speaks to me, when he, when he guides me into all truth, I know his voice. You know what I mean? Because I discern it in my spirit. So I was just like, wow. So I was like, kind of. I didn't even think about sharing it. I just thought that God gave it to me for me because I have my personal relationship with him and we have an understanding. So I thought he just gave it to me. But lately it's been on me to share. So I've been taking my time with it. I'm not going to lie. I've been lackadaisical. I've been like, mm, whatever, you know, but I'm, I'm always looking for signs, you know, for God to show me signs that, yes, this thing is real, that this thing is going to take place and I need it to get out. Right. So there's, there's, there's many things going through my head as I'm processing this because me coming on here and speaking about the alien deception, even God giving it to me makes me aware that there's really going to be people left behind. We, if we're not careful, if we're not if we don't watch and pray, we can actually be here for that alien deception, which means that we could miss the rapture. That That's just real life. That's something that we need to understand. And that's something that, you know, you don't plan for. Because my prayer and my belief is, Lord, let me be counted in that number. 
You understand what I'm saying? Because we know that when the rapture takes place, those who will be left behind, you think we going through something now? We're trying to bring forth the word of God. We're trying to live for Christ and the way the enemy fights us. You're going to have a whole government that is blatantly going to be outwardly against God because the enemy is going to be so angry because he's not counted in that number. And the realization that he's going to be cast into hell for eternity is what's, what's brewing in him. That's why you see so much evil in the world. That's why you see him using people, your family members, your friends, um, just people all over the world. The reason why he is going, he's running amok, amok is because he knows that his time is short and he knows what his destiny is. He knows his end. He has no choice. There's no looking back for him. Straight forward, straight to hell, weeping, gnashing of teeth, the lake of fire. So what happens with this situation, with God revealing this to me, is so many things going on inside of me up here and in my heart. Because I'm like, okay, this is something that's being given for those who are going to be left behind. Because just like God gives him, give us, gives us his word for today and for now before he even comes. There's a word that he still desires to give to the people that are going to be left behind. Because it is still his will that none of us will perish. No matter how you have to stand on his word and no matter how you have to stand in these situations, he still gives you a warning before destruction comes. So the fact that there are warnings going forth about this alien deception, people are having dreams, people are having visions about this thing. They're seeing because God, you know, those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. And how you have that is, 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 is it a, it's a revelation and it's discernment. Being able to spend time with God, have a personal relationship with him and understand that he's going to speak to you and he's going to use you. And if he's called you to do this, don't be afraid. Just ask him to show you what he wants you to say. Ask him, you know, in your spirit, however you speak to him, you know, God knows what you need. He hears you before you even, you even open your mouth. So when you're dealing with something and he's giving you a word and you don't know how to bring it forth or you're not sure about it, he puts things out there to confirm it to you. Because even in the Bible, it says out of the mouths of two to three witnesses, God will make his word firm and sure. So I'm sitting back and I'm saying, oh my God, like this is, this is real. There's no denying that the Lord is on his way. Um, there's so many things that he's, he's showing me and I'm just like, Lord, please let me be counted in this number because we all sin and fall short. There's so many things that the enemy is attacking us with because he looks at, he, he's going hard for the believers. The persecution is great when you're called and you have a relationship with God and you're a part of the body of Christ when you're a part of the true remnant. Because see, there's a true remnant. There's a remnant and there's, there's a true remnant. There's a remnant of religion and there's a remnant of people who have a true relationship. Excuse me. With God. There are people who truly <coughs> have a personal relationship with God. No matter where they are in their life, they have a personal relationship with God. And so they're able to hear them, hear him and see, you know, there's so many things that we go through on a daily basis in a spiritual battle. The, the devil tries to get us to a uh, 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 make mistakes in which we make mistakes and we do things and we might curse somebody out or we might argue or we might you know do some things in the flesh but you have to understand because we're in the last last days like paul said i press he don't look back he said he pressed across he pressed towards the mark the mark the high calling of where god has called us to you understand what I'm saying? And so he's coming back for his bride. He's at the door. But here's the thing. We have to realize what our true battle is.
Our true battle right now is being counted in that number because there's some things that God is revealing to us in these end times and some things that he's showing us that we need to take heed to. Just like when you see me taping in the sky, I'm not taping um, what's going on in the sky because I'm looking for aliens or spaceships. See, that's the difference between the remnant and the true remnant. The remnant of this world looks at science and they look at all the things that they're being told without discernment and then they're believing whatever this government says to them. See, that's the remnant of the world. The true remnant has the spirit of God on the inside of them. So right now and this in time, He's speaking to us and he's showing some th us some things in the spiritual realm. And what's going on in the sky is representative of what's coming in the spiritual realm. And so we know that this is proof because of the word of God that we are living in the last days. He said there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. Every day, those of us who begin to look up and tape what is going on in the sun, the moon, and the stars. We have an understanding in the spiritual realm that our redemption draws near. Our redemption draws near. Right now, what is happening is seed time and harvest time. Seed time and harvest time. That's what I've been hearing in the spirit. I can't explain it right now. But I, I, I'm trusting God that he will reveal to me everything that's going on in this very moment, in that dimension. So there's something going on. There's something being stirred. And the angels are rejoicing because there is something getting ready to take place. And all I can pray is that, you know, we make these videos and trust and believe you know, you guys, somebody's going to have access to YouTube after the rapture. And what's going to happen is why these warnings are coming out and these dreams and, and these things are coming out right now, especially as quick as they're coming out, because God has allowed his disciples and his people to take to the airways, even though the enemy you you can use the airways for evil. God can turn it around and use it for his good because you have that good and you have that evil and you have to make a choice between life and death, blessing and cursing. It's all a choice. So what happens is God is using his airways and he's doing everything he can to use us to reach his people because it's not his will that anyone would perish. So what happens is that when we come online and we and things begin to unravel, God, right now, he's, I mean, you know when they say desperate times calls for drastic measures? What is happening now? God has saved the best for last. So what's happening is, what's being revealed about how the earth was formed and how we're under the dome and under the firmament, that revelation is being revealed to people. What's going on in the sun, moon, and stars? Soon everybody will begin to see heaven approaching. What we are seeing is heaven and the, the new heaven and the new earth approaching, guys. This thing is astounding. It is not scientific. It is spiritual. It is approaching. What we're seeing, we have never seen like this. Let me make you understand how we are called by God to do what we do. The enemy calls his minions and his cohorts to do what he calls them to do see there's a good and there's an evil there's a heaven and there's a hell there's life and there's death so what we have to understand is that when we go outside and now more than ever i made a video this morning that i'll post now more than ever they are kim trailing and there is a total white out why do you think the enemy is pushing them? See, the enemy, the enemy, how does the, the enemy work? He works in his mind. Now, understand, the devil knows his time is short. Why? He knows the word better than we do, which means he knows the signs of the times just like we do. But he knows even more than we do when it comes to that. So what he's doing now, see, that's why we have to pay attention to what's going on. Because what he's doing now is he's using them. He's saying, nah, y'all got to cover this up. Because the more people see, the more they're going to come to the belief that there is a God, that God is real. Because from when we come out the womb, this, this new world order thing has been coming to a, 
come into a hole, you know what I'm saying, for years now. So what they do is they put us in school, they infiltrate us, and they indoctrinate us with lies. Okay, because that's the enemy's job. I'm going to I'm going to come against their mind. I'm going to make them understand that this is how it is. This is what it is, because we said so. And then I want them to feel crazy when they decide something is not right. But let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit knows the right time to do everything. His mercy and his grace is, 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 is always evident in what we what we do and what we experience. And so. Everything that's going on now. So that's why, you know, those of us who've been watching Kim Trails for years and what's going on in the sky for years, we see a drastic increase in this because something's going on in the heavenlies that they don't want us to see. Understand the elite, the reason why, because you say if they know all of this and they see all of this going on, why aren't they repentant? Why are not they not falling to their knees and saying, oh, no, God is real. I don't want to be a part of this. I want to be counted in that number because the enemy has blinded their eyes. He's blinded them. He has blinded them. So what's it going to take for somebody to come out of that when they've been under the oppression of the enemy? Deliverance. Deliverance. Okay, because it is a demonic spirit that causes these people to do what they're doing. So what happens is that when there's no deliverance being taken place, that's what's happened in, in, in the church, the modern day church right now where they have missed it. Okay, because I how about, you know what, let, let me let me let me make you understand something. Don't you know the very people that get up there in chemtrail, the elite and some of them, don't you know some of them go to church and sit up in church every Sunday? Because they are religious. They do, they're in works. The, the, the Lord said, those that worship, he said, those that worship me should worship me in spirit and in truth. There's no truth in them because they're in works. Their spirit doesn't even recognize who God is. But they're in works because it makes them look good to other people. So then what happens is deception comes in because deception says, oh, look at him. He goes to church. He does this. He's with his family. He does that. She does that. And they're good people because they're church people. No, but are you God's people? That's what we have to understand. It's so much bigger than works. It's so much bigger than how we look and how we don't look. It's about what's in here, what's in the heart, what, what, what are we allowing to come in here, to affect here. That's what people don't understand. That's why when you look around and you see evil, you're kind of confused. But God is not the author of confusion. He'll explain to you. He'll let you know. He'll show you in the spiritual realm why these things are happening. And what we're to do, we're to work out our own salvation with fear and troubling. Because at the end of the day, the enemy is going to come against me. He's going to come against you. And we have to set ourselves up and put on the armor of God and fight, 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 fight. And I'm telling you, if it's a hard fight now, because the persecution is great when you're trying to stand. But what you have to recognize, no matter what the enemy does, and if your flesh reacts, you repent. You do like Paul said, and he said, I press. I press towards the mark. Look it up in the Bible. I can't spit out that scripture right now. But I know that Paul said, I press, I press. That means I'm not going to let what happened to me yesterday, what I experienced today, stop me and hold me back from what God placed me on this earth to do. Because we have to understand this earth is not our home. Our, redem our redemption draws near. And being that our redemption draws near, we have to press. Just like the enemy knows his time is short because he knows what's going on. There's signs going on up there. There's signs going on up there. Okay? But what they want to do is distract us from God's signs. Because what they're setting up, they're setting up stage for their sign. So, you know, for those who will see this video, I pray to God that I'm not here to have to... You know, when I say, I don't want to go with the, uh, listen, I want to go with the rapture. I don't want to be one of those counted in a number that's on YouTube searching for the videos to see what I need to be looking for now that everybody has been, you know, the true remnant has gone and then there's a new harvest. Because see that the new harvest, what's going to happen is that there's some things that we're going to have to go through to be counted in the next number. 
but it's going to be harder. It's going to be more drastic because we ain't passed test number one. So this is what we have to understand. But I do want to say, be aware that there is an alien deception coming. Okay? And it's to distract you. To keep you from still believing that there is a God. There's an alien deception coming. Because the rapture is going to take place. And when the rapture takes place, they want to deceive you. And they want to make you think that it was the the aliens, which is only demons, the, the you know, the Nephilim and all that. They're not coming to get nobody. At the end of the day, if anything, they come in to torment your mind and have you all messed up. They already active out here. They're in the people who run the government who want to who want you to be part of the NWO to make your choice. See, after the rapture, it's going to be a choice. Either you're going to stop talking about God, stop preaching this nonsense, or you're going to get your head cut off. That's what the guillotines is for. And I said everything in this video last night. But there's a timing for everything. And what the devil meant for our harm, God will turn it around for our good. Because I tried to post it and I couldn't find it nowhere. But I think the Holy Spirit wanted me to be more comfortable with coming forward and saying this. Because a lot of people think it's a joke. They think it's all fun and games. They think it's all TV, lights, camera, action. But the, the, but the light, cameras, and action that's going to be taking place up there is some real Hollywood uh, 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 demonic deception because they're working hard for you not to believe in the God who created the heaven and the earth okay and so with Easter approaching and everything approaching be mindful of everything that's going on because there's a timetable and it's almost 12 o'clock okay so with that said I just wanted to share that with you guys I pray that you all have a blessed day Lord let us all be counted in that number pray for me as I pray for you I need the prayer I need a prayer because we're at war right now we're trying to do something for Christ in an evil world that is run by the enemy they have given themselves up to evil they have decided to turn their back on God what happens when you turn your back on God what happens but the enemy has them so deep into it that they feel like there's no turning back because their hearts have turned hard. They feel like, well, I've bombed over here and I've did this and I've used drones and I've done this and I've went over here and I did that. And some of them have molested kids and, and just killed families and, and did so much evil. And the enemy, you know what the enemy says to them? I got you now. Ain't no turning back. You might as well just keep on because it's over for you anyway. But the devil is a liar. If there's anybody who's watching this who feels like they have gotten so deep into evil, there's no turning back. If you still have breath in your body, you stop right now and you say, you know what, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I want to turn from my wicked ways, Lord. I, You know what? I, 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 want, I, I believe that that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I accept him into my life. Pray for salvation. Lord, save me right now. I need you. That is what you need to do this moment. If you got breath in your body, do it this moment. Because listen, you still got a chance. I don't care how much you've done. This is what we understand, what we need to understand that the enemy does not want us to understand. It is not God's will for any of us to perish. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And who shall ever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God so loved the world. You alive, you in this world. You're underneath the firmament. You still have a chance. So at the end of the day, I just want to say God bless everybody. We got to stay prayed up. We, we are at war, okay? America is about to be in war, literally. But those of us who are in the body of Christ, we are at war in the spiritual realm. Don't be afraid. Don't get scared when you hear the word war and you say, oh my God, uh, you know, what am I supposed to do? No, because it's more for us, more with us than it is with them. The angels are fighting for us in the heavenlies. You just have to know how to pray. You have to allow the Holy Spirit to come in and you have to ask God to, to fill you with the Holy Spirit so that you can speak in new tongues. You want to speak in new tongues because there's a new evil in operation. We can't fight the, the the a new fight with old weapons so i just wanted to share that you, with you guys have a blessed day and continue to stay vigilant